hit uh, short here. Let's see what the uh, and it bounced. It hit 9.5 just now. Let's see what it does on the beam. That rock on the money for 9.6. You know, if you were looking at that beam, that thing's like a rock on that right now. And uh, 9.6. Try it one more time. So you're sitting there stable on 9.6. Well, I, would, I came up, and when you move your hand around it, it moves after that. It's the air current is real. It is real sensitive, but no question about that. <sighs> that one is off. It's kind of up. So I mean, like we're at 9.7. Now that's where the set point on the dispenser of 9.5. So. We're moving a couple of tenths of a grain back and forth. It'll be low a little bit for a while. It'll be high for a little while. It'll be on target for a little while. So the, and like I said, I don't care if it's on 9.5. What I'm interested in is whatever it's dumping, that it stays the, within its tolerances all the time. And it, in my opinion, is not quite what it needs to be to uh, to do what I would call a true hand loop. It, it does work, but it's not. And, and I don't, I don't even know if it's any faster. To be honest with you, it, it's only faster after you do it a while, because right when you first, you can see that it scales all over the map but I can I can weigh out and my with a scoop on the manual scale that gets it real close after you do three or four of them and you get back in the groove of it you can trickle it up by just you know trim it up with this with a just bumping it out of the scoop until it's uh, dead on the money or now normally what I'll do if I overshoot or it's a little off one way or the other when I'm trickling it up, I'll take the pan off and dump some of it back and then trickle it up again or trim it up again. Alright, that one is not quite on that next line, but it is right on it, right near it. And so that's at least 9.7. So it's, uh, I would say that the plus or minus one tenth specification that the manufacturer provides with the scale is close. Well, I, don't, I ain't going to necessarily even agree that, agree that I'm going to do one more just for the fun of it. What I'm going to do too is I'm going to I'm going to go, find, go to a, a grave headstone company and I'm going to buy a slab of marble you know, to may weigh whatever I can carry or afford to buy, and I'm gonna sit this dispenser on it so that this this platform is nice and heavy, and vibrations and other things will have a lower impact. So we're showing 9.5 dispensed. So let's look at it on the beam.
That's pretty damn near right on the money. Pretty much right on the money for the lines are, are on each other, I would say. And, you know, we're talking about, we're splitting a the hair there on that one. But uh, that's beam scale set on 9.6. Okay, so anyway, so you can see that we have floated around from a low of about uh, shooting for 9.6. We floated around from a low of on the beam on the manual scale over here. One time we were down well into that increment under the zero, and one time we were halfway up into the second second increment over the zero. So that. We were down from 9.5 uh, or slightly lower than 9.5 to 9.9. .9. So, and that's with me measuring all this stuff one behind the other. If you're using this thing to load with, you're not uh, you're not checking every load on the, on two scales. I'm, uh, what's clear to me is. And that uh, there's, and I'm I have just calibrated this scale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recalibrate it, and I'm gonna go again. 